systemic sclerosis has affected my skin, my hands, my mouth now, how I feel absolutely every day. It's affected my lungs. I mean, even just walking upstairs, like I avoid stairs now because I'm so winded by the time I get to the top of the stairs and it's, it's frustrating. Just not being able to do things I love to do, like not being able to teach anymore. I'm already looking at maybe modifying the types of classes I teach because doing a class and teaching a class are two different things. You know, a full-on Zumba class. You have to be able to express a lot of energy when you're teaching and transfer that energy to your participants. My fear is that at this point of my illness, I may not be able to do that. I have the desire, but I don't know if I have the full capacity. I can't do what I used to do. You can't compare it to any other disease, it seems. Everybody I talk to says there's no standard course. Everybody's different. I've been told the first five years gives a picture of how quickly it will progress. I've talked to people that have lived for 20 years with the disease, and that's encouraging. That's hopeful. I think, okay, good, maybe I'll be one of those people. Let's cross my fingers, and I hope I'm one of those people because I've got a lot of living to do. The exercise takes you to another place. It makes you forget. Focus on something else and feel good about what I'm doing. Try to function as normal as I used to be, you know, but it's different now. I'm so fortunate because I do have so much support. Without my husband, who's been absolutely amazing, and my children and my extended family, it wouldn't even be possible. That's really what keeps me going, and I just have to think positive, so I, you know, I gotta keep moving. That's how I think of it, so I just put one foot in front of the other, and you know, I do what I can do.